Hey, what's up, guys? This is Eric 742 with Eric's RC channel. Uh, just wanted to show the uh, mounting of the arms, uh, motor mount brackets, excuse me, on the, uh, I want to say X580 because I made so many videos, sorry, the Turnigy HAL frame. Alright, so, you got two pieces here. The one, the motor mount itself, and then you just got the mounting bracket. Um, and the instructions are wrong, so don't listen to them. The only thing the instructions are correct for is mounting these um, three millimeter bolts down into the bottom bottom plate. Now, there's holes, there's three holes. One here, sorry my camera's shaky, one here, and then there's one right there. And all of those, the instruction shows for these two to put a different kind of screw in there, but don't. Use the little micro, little, uh, they give you so many of them, too many actually. Use a little set screw um, after you have it leveled and everything. But even these two will hold it just fine. I mean, it's so strong. This thing's unbelievably strong. This will not turn. I mean, I could pry on that or put it in my vise and try to turn it, and I don't think it will. Um, what I did to, to actually level it, which it should be as level as possible, because I used, um, I did not use a, uh, an actual level. What I, there's a there's an app for the Android phones. I don't know about iPhones. Um, uh, it's called Bubble, I believe. And if you take an actual level, you can set it on there and calibrate it, and it's dead on. It's just so dead on. Um, and also, if you don't have a level, you can take it and say you have like a garage floor that you know is perfectly flat. You can calibrate it on that, um, laying something on a totally flat surface. You know, clean, no dirt, no nothing underneath it. Um, and it's great. Um, anyways, guys, um, the motor mounting brackets for these is very impressive. I think it's just, I think it's exceptional. Um, damn it, and I mounted it backwards. Look at me. Other way around. Sorry, guys. I'll have to redo this one. But anyway, you get the idea. This is upside down. I can see now the bevels for mounting the motor on the other side. So that's a mistake on my part. Just not paying attention, just throwing stuff together. But um, appreciate you guys watching my videos. Obviously, that's uh, misinformation, but I'm correcting it now. I don't need to make another video saying, hey, I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass right now, and I'll flip it over. So thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.